we've had a bear attack. I would have never guessed or never dreamed about what we saw. So we had a bear attack one of our beehives and he demolished it. So we're here this afternoon and we're gonna clean that up. He tore everything down, ripped everything out. What we're gonna to try to do is clean up part of it, see if we can save any of the frames, see if we can save the bees. Hopefully the queen is still there. So let's get suited up, get our gloves on, get everything ready and see how this goes putting it back together. Where this hive sit at last night and it's been the whole bottom has been broken on it it's been ripped off torn apart let's see if we can put it all back together and move it to somewhere else so my plan is to try to get what bees we can into this box i've got a top We'll put the bees in this box and we'll put another top over it and take it and set it out at a different location. Kind of expecting them to be a little bit aggravated. surprised if there's not some of them laying back in the woods we'll count everything we put two in the box we'll count and see how many we've got Something drove by and spooked it off is why it didn't tear everything up any worse. It looks like it's sitting here for an hour. I mean, it's eat all these up. I know. It's crazy, ain't it? But some of that brood, I guess it got turned over and he just couldn't, she just couldn't it's see it too. or smell it or whatever. We should just set it up here where they can go in the hive and leave it here for tonight. Let them get to working in it, or you think he'll be back tonight? I'd say you're right. We probably shouldn't do that. He'll be back. I hope the queen's in there. No, I'm surprised. I, I was afraid they was going to be really, really mad because we've dealt with them before after bears and stuff, and they're they're usually really, really mad. You know that one time we seen a big paw print on on a frame. I was wondering if we could find one this time. I don't know. 
know how. They just don't pay it. No mind, though. There's no I'm gonna put it in there just as a space holder right now. And then we'll change it out. I believe we've got the queen cause all these bees are trying to get in marching right up in that hive. There's lots of bees still on the ground where they've kind of just clustered. Kind of like catching a swarm. We put all those bees, shook them in this box. You can tell their tails are up and they're fanning now, which makes me believe we've got the queen in there. What we're gonna do is let this set while we go up and work on the fence, get the electric fence fixed that we've let kind of go for the last few years just because we hadn't had any trouble out of bears in quite a while and you get lazy and lackadaisical so we're going back to fix that fence and then we'll come back in a little while a couple hours and move that back up there so what we're doing is we're fixing these ends here to put a donut insulator so we can make the new corners with it What we are doing is since we've cleaned up those bees from the bee attack, we used to have a electric fence around all of these bees and hadn't seen or had any problem with bears in quite some time. And we just kind of got lax and it got broke down, sticks fell on it and everything. But after that, we can afford to lose one hive, which we don't want to lose any. But we can't afford to lose all these nukes that we've got made up for our customers. That would put us way behind because they're red. Well, we just wouldn't be able to fill orders if this got bear got into this yard. So what we're doing now is we're actually fixing the corners back, doing them a little bit different, and stringing up some new wire to put our electric fence back on uh, this bee yard to keep bears out of here. So after you have an attack. I promise you they'll be back. So we're using a donut insulator for our corner. We'll show you how all this goes together too, just in case you need to build a quick fence. This is an easy way, I think, to do it. What we're doing this is plenty, plenty good enough. Bears are not too hard to keep out with electricity. They got such large pads on their feet that they ground really well and they just cannot stand to be shocked. So if there's anything good about it, they're, they do not like shock. So once they get used to it, you can keep them out with electric fence. So let's go around and finish these.
gloves on to put the fence up. Shoo. Now they found the camera and they don't like the color black and the little microphone, the dead cat on the microphone, man, they hate that thing. So that's probably what you're hearing there. Man. Oh, by the way, did y'all notice my new coat? Had to buy one. Leave me a comment below if you notice my new coat before I mention it. I'm just gonna go right back here We're at 4.3 and that's got the fence at the opening laying on the ground too. So we should be in good shape there with that. So 4.3 kilovolts, we should be in pretty good shape there with that. All right guys, so we've got our fence around. We got three wires, five kilovolts, almost all the way around. Got everything sitting back, hopefully far enough that the bear can't reach under. Well, guys, thanks for watching. It wasn't what we had planned to do on the farm today, but I guess that's farming. There's always something different to do. Guys, if you would, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We're growing well. Things are going good for us. We appreciate you spending time or your time watching our videos. And as always, we'll do it all again tomorrow. And hopefully we won't be picking up more hives that the bears tore up. Mm-hmm.